Okay, hello, this is Con Emmanuel, and I'm about to show you how you can upload images onto your blog page. Um, so before we begin, just make sure you've got a folder on your desktop or somewhere that actually has the images already. These images should be um, trimmed to size, trimmed to fit. Um, I find that um, the maximum width of 640 pixels is pretty good. It uh, just depends on um, how you want to display them on your page. And also 72 dots per inch is the optimum resolution. So look, let's just leave that folder there. Let's uh, launch Firefox and uh, we'll go to WordPress. WordPress. All right, so with WordPress, uh, if you just click on that link, um, we have to log in. Now for the Creative Product uh, blog, the login is simply product 2013 and the password is backwards the same thing 2013 product one word so product 2013 and the password is 2013 product one word and it's sign in so this will take a little while um, here it comes and as soon as you get to this uh, screen you can then go straight to my blogs. And what I find is uh, once you go to my blogs, you can go straight to the pages or to the posts. Um, so if I click on um, where it says 15 pages, that'll take me to all the pages that exist for this particular blog. And there I am there, Con Emmanuel. Um, if I just go back one, if I don't click on 15 pages and just click on creative product, it actually takes me to the blog. And then from there, I can find the page that I wish to edit. You might prefer this method. So I can either click on my name from here on the list on the right, or I can go to the drop down menu and choose my name from there. Either way, it will take me to my page. And as, as you can see, um, there's nothing on it at the moment. And there's the magic button. It's as easy as that. You just click on edit. And I might just wait for that to load. Right, now, in there's the name of my blog up here. That's the name of the blog, so I don't want to change that. Down here, I can start typing a bit of information. So it's just like Microsoft Word. If I start typing something like, um, today I went to the market and bought myself a donut. There you go, the American spelling. Um, I'll just update that, hang on. Oh, that's, that's fine. I don't know why it's saying that. All right, so you can type as many words as you like, but if I want to insert an image, I need to add the media first. So let me just press return to create a new line. So my cursor is blinking. This is the button that allows me to add an image. So if I click on that, and it will take me to the media library. So at the moment, these are all the images that have ever been uploaded by different users. But if I just go to the button that says upload files, it will ask me, where do you want to go. Now you can drag and drop them into this area or I'll just click on select files here and I know that my folder is on the desktop. I know it's called blog images and these are the images. So if I just select maybe those three, click open, WordPress will start loading them. Here they come. And the blue tick means that they have been uploaded to the media library. Okay. So one more to go. Beautiful. And they're all ticked. Now, depending on how I wish to insert them, uh, you can see over here on the right-hand side, I can insert them as full size. I'll just zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Talking about this little area here, you can actually decide how big you want the image to be displayed on your blog page. So if you want full size, you just leave it on full size. If you want it smaller than that, just click on large. 
and then you can just click on insert into page and just be warned that it just depends on how many images you've got ticked so if I just want to do it one by one uh, I might just make sure that there's only one image ticked so let's start with the Cretan Potter we'll just insert him and we wait a few seconds there he is okay so there's the first image and you can see that is um, one way of inserting it if I then put my cursor at the end of that um, sentence and press return I can go back to add media I don't need to upload them because they're already there and here's my second image here and again insert this one's called Archangel this one's a bit smaller than the other one you can see quite a bit smaller and then again put my cursor in add media and here comes my third one Archangel Gabriel insert and there we have it so we've got three images one after the other and I've got a bit of text I could even place my cursor at the end of the image and just type in a title I can say something like um, this is an acrylic painting of Archangel Michael or Michelle actually it's not Michael it's Michelle no it's hang on let me just check sorry Gabrielle what am I talking about Gabrielle and it was painted on canvas in just over six hours so again, spell check, capitalize. You can add text wherever you want. You can add links. We won't worry about links today, but for now, that's just a really quick way of inserting images into your blog page. Now, once you've done that, you do need to update your page. So that big blue button there, that one there, you just click on update. The page is now getting updated. It's going to blink and it's done and if I want to check it I can simply go at the top here where it says view page just there click on that and it will show me what I've just done so there is the text that I typed up and the three images okay so that's worked pretty good and that's pretty much how you update your page. You just have to remember to click on edit every time you want to add a bit of text or type some words. Um, but that's about it. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.